The traders at Kasoa Market say the situation at the new location is pathetic than their former Kibuye market. They are now appealing to the county government of Kisumu to decongest the market in order to reduce the risk of spread of COVID-19. Kibuye likuwa na nafasi, tulikuwa tunapata hewa mzuri, na hapa tumefinyana finyana. Well, business community in Embu town have cried foul following increased cases of breakage and burglary during curfew hours. Embu West OCPD Charles Kinyua said police are investigating how the thieves were taking advantage of the curfew hours to terrorize the businesses community in the area. Nilipokunja nilikuta ni ukweli imefunjwa imefagidiwa kila kitu. Pombe zote zimekunywa. TV simengolewa. Well, the Precious Kids Center in Kitale, Transoya County that hosts children living with disabilities says it has been hard for them to fully comply with government directives on fighting coronavirus. Samantha Hamok, director of the facility, said they are facing many challenges due to lack of donor support, which mainly comes from the USA battling the coronavirus pandemic. <laughs> Elsewhere, a police and a Kilifi county security officer who were enforcing the COVID-19 safety measures at BP area in Malindi sustained injuries after they were attacked by irate border border operators. Malindi sub-county police commander Vitali Sotieno confirmed the incident, saying the officers were taken to hospital for treatment and later discharged. We managed to arrest several motorcyclists who are doing that offense and we also detained, we also managed to detain several motorcycles who are violating the rules concerning corona and the traffic rules. Moving on, a section of the clergy in Narok have donated 15 bells of maize flour to Narok County Commissioner to be donated to the less fortunate who are most affected by COVID-19 epidemic. The donations, mainly foodstuffs, will be given to the most vulnerable in the society. <laughs> In Kirinyaga, Area County Commissioner Jim Joker has revealed that Criminal Investigation Department has launched investigation into an arson attack against Mutira Ward MCA David Kinywa Wangui Homestead. Joker also revealed that investigating officers are currently investigating death threats issued to four other members of the county assembly by unknown assailants. Finally, the late African Legio Maria sect Pope Romanus Ogembo was laid to rest at the church's headquarter at Godkweru, Migori County. According to his successor, Pope Lawrence Ochen Kalul, the cleric had to be buried within the church's compound in accordance with Legio Maria doctrines. Reporting for Channel One News, I'm Suleiman Yeri.